Now, as I bring this to conclusion, I, I want to speak to some of you here today who have never yet come to the place where you have committed your life to Jesus Christ. You've been around Christians, you've been in church, and that's all great. But you've never gotten out of the boat and into the water. You've never got out of the grandstands and onto the field. You've never repented of your sins and turned back to the world and turned to Jesus Christ and committed your life to Him, to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man, virgin born, sinless life, substitutionary death, bodily resurrection, Jesus who died upon the cross bearing our sins. That is your only hope for acceptance before God. And you will be utterly rejected by God if you have rejected His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. But today is a glorious day. <laughs> today is a day of opportunity. Today could be a day of salvation for you. Today could be the greatest day of your life. Today could be the, the pivotal moment of your entire life existence. Today could be the day when you finally make the decision, I'm going to be a follower of Jesus Christ. If that's where you are, then don't delay. The Bible says, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. The Bible says, boast not yourself of tomorrow. For you know not what a day may bring forth. The, the Bible says, to him who knows to do right and does it not, to him it is sin. If you put it off, your heart is just becoming harder and harder. It's not becoming softer and softer. It's becoming harder and harder. And however difficult it might be for you at this moment to make this all-important decision, it's going to be twice as hard tomorrow and three times harder next week. And there reaches a point when the Holy Spirit will no longer bring deep conviction to bring you into the kingdom. No, there is an appointed time, and today could be that appointed time for you. And so, if you've never stepped out of the darkness and into the light, if you've never stepped out of the world and come to the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, today is the day. Today is the day. So, I invite you as an ambassador of Christ, representing the King of kings, to this day say an everlasting yes to Jesus Christ. Come to Him by faith. Embrace Him as your Lord and as your Savior, and He will wash away your sins. He will clothe you with His perfect righteousness. He will come and live inside of you and you will have taken the very first step into the knowledge of His will. It would be a glorious day. If you would do this, the angels in heaven would sing. Zephaniah 3.17 says, God Himself would sing with delight that this son of mine that was lost is now found. This son of mine that was dead is now alive. God would call for a robe to be brought, the robe of His righteousness, and He would clothe you. God would put sandals on your feet. God would call for a celebration in heaven. He would kill the fatted calf. There would be such excitement and glory if you would commit your life to Jesus Christ. And there would be such excitement and joy in your own heart. The relief of the heavy weight of sin rolled off your back. The nakedness of your transgressions would be covered. You would be washed in the blood of Christ, and you would be made clean 
as a pure driven snow. God says, come, let us reason together, says the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be white as wool. There is no greater invitation that could ever be extended to you, but you must accept it. You must act upon it. You must believe, and no one else can believe for you. You alone must make this all-important commitment of your life to Christ. If you've never done it, there may never be a greater opportunity than this very moment. This could be your time with God today.